Hey everyone, this is uh, Shadow Guy uh, coming to you with another YouTube Marvel Legends video. And here we have some Marvel Legends here. I have laid out here. And um, I know I usually do unboxings and really in depth reviews, but right now I don't really have time to do a lot of editing or to go into further detail. And um, these are figures that have kind of been out for a while. So I just figure I want to just do a quick, you know, something for my subscribers who watch for action figure reviews or anybody might be interested. So get along with the review. Oops. Here we have uh, Miles Morales. Um, Spider-Man. This is from, I forget what wave it is. Um, it's one of the more recent waves. It's a really good figure. It's basically a smaller version of the Pizza Spidey, but I think he has um, lesser joints. He doesn't have a extra shoulder joint here, and he's a relatively uh, small figure. He comes with um, I'm down. He comes with two sets of swappable, sort of like web hands. So you have two examples right here, and and the other two are right here. Another set of like open hands and a fist which alternate with the fist and the web hand that are already here so you have three pairs of hands to do different um, poses with them really good figure um, all the typical articulation that you'd want um, pretty good sculpt and I would also say pretty good paint I have no problem with this figure in terms of the paint that I got online it's pretty clean. There's a little fuzziness in the white along the eyes, so just be careful. And sometimes, like right on there on mine, it's not really covered. Sometimes the uh, paint doesn't get aligned, the lines correctly. Otherwise, because he's basically a black figure, and then they're putting red ink on him, it's not that bad. You really shouldn't have a problem. And here's his swappable head. Looks just like the comic book Miles Morales. I think it's pretty accurate. So I would definitely buy him if you can get him. Moving on here to Electro. This is the older version of Electro. But he has a swappable head, which I can't seem to find right now. Oh, that's interesting. He has an alternate head that's more of the modern Electro, but basically this is what he is. He's a villain. He's a member of the Sinister Six. Um, really nice paintwork, but you know, it's the typical Spider-Man figure build. So this is the adult body, like I was talking about, more joints here, and we go up to top here, an extra joint to let you bring in the shoulders, a butterfly joint. The typical Marvel Legends articulation, the double jointed elbows, uh, the double jointed knees, which you can do here, ankle pivot and rocker. Um, good app crunch. It doesn't click like the Miles one. And it kind of looks weird here. It looks really thin and tall. But other than that, I think if you get him at the right angles, it looks really good. And I like this head better than the other one where he's kind of bald and he just has markings. This is the kind of the classic Electro head. The one knock on this figure, I would say, is that he doesn't have normal hands or fist hand or anything. He just has these kind of electric static kind of hands, which are a nice effect, but it's not really practical if you want to just do something different with him. I don't know. So, use that. Um, and since we just looked at Electro, moving over, we'll... Um, Take a look, quick look here at Black Suit Spider-Man. This is from the Sandman Wave that just came out. Really good figure. Um, a little choppiness here on the paint with the white going on top of the black, which you know is hard to do. It, it gets fuzzy on the lines. Um, and sometimes the black seeps through the white. But other than that, I would absolutely recommend this figure. If you don't have one already, it definitely replaces the Toy Biz one. Um, again, the only other knock, I think, comparing this one to the other Toy Biz one, he doesn't have shading his costume. So the toy or, you know, the models basically figures done in black all the way through. 
they didn't really take the time to like bring out the muscle and the sculpt and stuff by adding you know different color paint to bring that out that's what shading's there for same thing the abs and all the only other thing I'll comment all the figures of this I found at my comic shop they all had a little bit of black seeping through either right here on the abs some some of them really badly or right here underneath the um, kind of the rib cage underneath the arm so if you look to pick up one of these I would recommend trying to buy in person so you can get the best one available to you as opposed to buying it online but for a classic um, Spider-Man figure that we haven't gotten in a while I would definitely recommend this one and in comparison to Miles this is like I said this is the adult kind of body this is the teenage kind of body ultimate Spider-Man body so it's a significant difference in height and last but not least and what I think is the best figure here um, here we have uh, Cindy Moon or Silk from the comics um, she's a newer character in the recent Spider-Man retcon she was like a another student that was in the same class where Peter Parker was at when he got bit and she also got bit by the spider as well, giving her powers. So, uh, interesting character. And her sculpt and costume are just so great looking. It really does, like, a female character justice is just amazing. So, here we have a, a, a smaller body again. This is similar, I think, to, I want to say, the body that they use for Captain Marvel. Because that's, like, the one of the other female characters I have. So right here, the shoulders look a little weird, kind of bulby at the top, but other than that, like, the sculpt is really good. Um, and just take a note right here of something I was talking about earlier about shading. They took time to add, like, little highlights and, and paint in here that's kind of like a light blue in, in the hair. And it's just, her hair is just like this in the comic book, and it's amazing. And it really, really, really does a great job. It's kind of hard to maybe show it on my cam. Um, but if you get some high-quality pictures of her online, I'm sure you can find it. And sh she comes with a swappable head. So this head has no mask, as opposed to this one has a mask. But it includes a scarf, which is detachable. And it's on its own. And you can place it on her neck or not, simply just by taking off the head. So if I can do this real quick, moving the neck piece and placing the other head here and get the satisfying click and it's basically just like that. You can give her a different look and I think that's really good. You have a nice diaphragm joint and the web design with the fading out from red to black is so cool. The gradient there, you don't really see that in a lot of figures. So I would definitely recommend this figure. I mean, look at the work on the back there. So cool. She comes with um, two other pairs of hands. If that's right, no, that's the Spider-Man, I'm sorry. So yeah, she just comes with the parts for the Build-A-Figure Venom, which are like these. This is like an arm. You have a leg over here. And I have another leg sitting over here. So you get those pieces to like build Venom from the Guardians of the Galaxy, which is a different Venom than the like symbiote kind of based one. But all in all, um, these are the figures that I bought, picked up recently. Got these at Midtown Comics, a local comic shop in New York. And I would definitely recommend these guys if you can get them. They go around 15 to 20 bucks. A matter of fact, actually, I got the Electro. Can't get him to stand up now. It's all right. Um, I got the Electro at a drugstore or a pharmacy, I think. And he was like 12. So if you can grab these anytime you see them, if you're a comic book fan and you like the uh, action figures like I do and the articulation, and... um. Just because you're a fan or whatever, um, I would definitely recommend to pick them up. So uh, thanks again for this quick short video. We we're running about 10 minutes and we got to review four figures here. Um, 
be sure to stay tuned to my channel for more reviews. Um, I'm trying to focus a little bit more now on gaming because I most of my videos get more views when I'm gaming based as opposed to unboxings or uh, reviews. So be sure to stay tuned for that in the future. And I'll see you in the next video. So thanks again for watching to the end. And this is Shadow Guy signing out. Peace.